Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. I think that today we're going to come and visit some more of the places. So that's Sclaro for example. But first I think we'll just finish off the galactic science planets. Um, there's quite a few and we haven't been to very many of them, only the first main ones. So I think we'll start off with Mercury. So let's trundle over there. So best place to do that is probably without the TARDIS. Let's get a better empty hand here. Come into here. Oh, let's come along here. Let's have a look. Let's check my oxygen's good. Temperature's good. And I've got everything I need. So we'll dial straight towards from the moon. Where haven't we been to? We haven't been to Plu Pluto. We've been to Venus, I think. Mercury. And we haven't been to the asteroids. So let's go to, uh, let's go to Pluto first. Because that's one of the the far away ones. So we'll dial to that and just trans teleport there. And we'll come out in my small little base that I've built in Pluto with some Pluto rock here. So actually if we have a quick look at what you can actually do on Pluto, let's have a look at the other different things here. Oops. Nearly, nearly spelled that wrong. So here we have the different ores that you get here. So we've got surface rock, subsurface rock, rock, cobblestone, and then you get sapphire ore, which is an important one. You also get this frozen block. Now that's also an important one, and the unopitanium. Now the unopitanium is is one of the key ingredients you'll need later on. What else? We have a block of sapphire. There's nothing really that interesting. And we get some plutonium or but that's from nuclear craft from not from here and these are all actually nuclear craft ones so what we can do with this let's have a look at what we can actually use that for so we can sieve it for plutonium ore crushed boron and silver ore and this one it's the same actually i think and the same with the rock we all get the same ones cobblestone you can smelt it into rock uh this one you can get uh Pluto sapphire, and surprisingly enough, you can get sapphires from. This one here, you can smelt this into frozen iron ingots. And the last one here is the you know, potanium, which of course you can then process that. And you can smelt it, or you can use the alloy smelter. Different ways of smelting it, really. And that's basically what you get from here. So let's go and have a quick look outside and see what there is. Basically, that's where I've been uh, mining using the ender quarries. Probably finished by now, I guess. But this is the actual surface. There's no, there's no dungeons or anything down here. It's just fairly barren with reasonably steep mountains, as you can see. Well, that's basically it there's not much more in here there's no dungeons or anything to, to go and have a look at it's just those particular ores which are very valuable for the last part of the quest in order to get the um what you may call it the stargate so let's just trundle back to the to the base i think it's over here And in fact, what we'll do is we'll just use a charge teleporter and then teleport back home. So I think I planted some trees as well. But you get plenty of flowers when you actually do that. And that's, that's the case in all cases anyway. And underneath here, there's some sort of, well, sort of underground bits as well. That's not actually that interesting. It's just to basically do some mining. Okay, let's teleport back to, to base. And let's have a look where we can also go to here. So we can go to we've done we've done Pluto, we haven't done Mercury yet. So let's do this one and dial that one in. Actually I'll dial it once, won't I? You see my um charge teleport is already charged up. And I really should check these places in here to make sure they've got enough fuel and things that you've got plenty of fuel. And again, 
down here. So where are we now? Mercury. So let's have a look on the... Again, do the same thing for Mercury and see what we've got in Mercury. So we get... I think those aren't actually... Yeah, see, I can get coloured blue glowstone here. Not that it has any specific uses. A caravan module. So I haven't seen that one. But basically, let's have a look at the ores here. So you've got Mercury. What's that one? That's Electric Age. Don't care about that. Space Mercury. So you get Surface Rock. And you get the same sort of things. You get Thorium Ore, Mercury Iridium Ore, and Crushed Uranium. And I think you get that from all of the different rocks, except for Coalstone, which you then smelt to get the same ones. And then here you get this Iridium Ore. from. You can mine that one. You can also mine Meteor Ore which will give you raw meteors. What else have we got? Tin. That's nice. Copper. Gold. This is about the only place you can actually get gold ore. I mean, did I right click that for uses? AKs. And what else have we got here? A block of iridium. Okay, fair enough. Block of meteors. And some mercury dungeon bricks. Now that implies it's a dungeon in here, but if, I've, if there is one, I've never found one. Let's have a quick look outside and see what we can see, shall we? And if we do find a dungeon, well, it'll be my first one. In fact, it's probably worthwhile having a look for a dungeon. See, here you get the meteors falling down. That was it's just changed colour. But I haven't found anything in the wiki to say there are dungeons in here. The only thing I need to check out is make sure I've got... So you've got holes and things down here. Let's have a look down here see what we can see, if anything. Oh, sorry, let's take this one. Some mobs, of course. I shall take the boat. Didn't see me. What else have we got? A pair of creepers? Oh yes, cre just skellies. Oops. They're moving quite fast actually for, sk uh, for zombies. Desperately exciting. Let's, I'm pretty sure we'll have to find a dungeon. Uh, do you know what I should have done? I should have marked the base, shouldn't I? Let's go and do that so I don't actually get lost where I've got to go to this direction. I should put a marker down here. Well, it's not right, is it? Must be down here. Looking at the map. So that strange thing over there. And there's a, there's a, there's a meteor, so we know we're getting near towards base. Ah, that's some green. That must be the base. I'm actually quite high up at the moment. And of course I put down a, a magnum torch so we didn't actually get lost. So where's the entrance? Here. So what I'll do is just mark the entrance here with a, with a map marker. P isn't it? So we'll say um, base. Very exciting. An original name. We'll give it a nice brighter green colour, I think. There we go. Save that one. She's not as green as I wanted. Let's say go. Base. Zero metres. So let's go in this direction. Let's go east. It's obviously night time because mobs are out, but we don't care about that.
but they are the sort of the standard mobs evolved spiders, creepers, skeletons. So I'm going so fast it's not painting in this rendering in as fast as it should be doing, should it? No, oh, I'll carry on going east that way. I'm very high up. What, why are we on? 154. What I think I'll do is I'll cut here and come back and see uh, and see if we actually find anything interesting. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, the wood I found. I found what looks to me to be like a dungeon, so let's go and have a quick look, see what we can see in here. It's a typical format where you go straight down and see bedrock at the bottom. And as I said, I've never done one of these before, so let's have a look. I need to just get to the middle of it so I can drop down into it. In fact, probably an easier landing on this than dropping down here. Being a little bit more cautious because I've never done one of these before. So what shall we do here? Let's um, let's put, actually put some torches down just to make sure that I've got some torches in here. I should have from last time. Yes, we've got plenty of torches, and I probably also I'll keep that with me just in case. And I'll get my food into place as well. I have no idea what the boss is. There's bound to be there's bound to be spawners, so let's get that ready. Oh, what was that for a spawner? Pink one. Is that a pig? Pig. Pigs. Have we got a pig boss in this particular mod in this particular base? Really interesting. Are we going to be attacked by pigs? Very strange. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Cobweb. Yes, that's great. We know that. And a pig. I think I might leave it at one. I'll keep down putting down a few torches to make sure. Oops, we've got plenty of torches down there already, haven't I? More pigs. Well, I don't, I don't think pigs are dangerous. We'll leave those as they are. I think they should be something else, actually. So maybe that's something that's not been finished off yet. One zombie. He was moving fast, wasn't he? Pigs. Well, they do move fast, these guys. Here, pigs. No, I haven't been putting down torches. How very poor. More pigs. I wonder what these spawners are supposed to be. Well, here's a chest. I need a tier two dungeon key to open this, which is very strange since there's no bosses here. Hmm. So it looks like it's an unfinished dungeon. Shame. No pigs have spawned either. Come on, spawn. I want to see a real pig. Right, well, we're back at the uh, X 
likes it. Oh, there we get some ores in here. Look, what have we got in this one? Tin ore. And lots of zombies, of course. I don't know where they are. But you can see on the map, on the mini-map, there's plenty of mobs around. What's that? What's three, three, what's it? Oh, it is just a plain zombie. But one thing they do is they move very fast in this particular mod pack. Well, I should do also, is also mark the dungeon. Let's, let's actually do that before I forget. I have to press the space, don't I? Spelling it correctly. That'll do fine. I shall have a blue dungeon. So, that's basically Mercury. So what we'll do now is we'll just... Uh, actually, it was quite a long way from base, wasn't it? 2,000 metres. So what I'll do is I'll simply teleport back and we'll then go and visit the space station, I think, quickly. Here we go. I think we've done everything else on here. Let's have a quick look. So... We've been to the we've been to Pluto, Venus, Mercury, asteroids, Mars, the Moon, of course, is where we are, and but the space station we've not been to there. Let's just dial that once. Okay, and teleport our way there. This is actually you build this yourself, and I haven't built anything here. Just the minimum basic stuff with some. What have I got here? Base station base, and you basically got these tin blocks here. And I, I was basically putting down some carpenter's blocks. And if you look down here, there's the earth. If I actually fall off the earth, fall off towards the earth, I don't end up at the earth. Where am I? Am I flying or am I dropping? There's some dropping. I actually end up back at the moon. as you can see but we end up quite near to base where's the base? 205 meters away and here we are so that's we've got now because we can teleport fairly straightforwardly so that's that so that's all of the, the bits and pieces in galactic science itself or in the galactic planets so what we'll do now is we're going to take the TARDIS and we'll go and visit somewhere else what I have done is I decided I was going to put a, some way of getting rid of this stuff where's it gone to here we are here I've got a, a dimensional chest what I can do with the dimensional chest is I can put in the the surface rocks which I dug up and the spawners we'll put over here we don't need any rotting flesh spawners I think that's fine I even picked up a torch a standard torch that's not much use okay let's go and travel now to Sclaro that's this location i don't know never been here yet this is my first time so we'll start off with the temporal primer right click that and then we'll go and do the helmet regulator right click that and then of course the quantum handbrake i really want to get just to this side of that there we go shouldn't take long now and then we'll be in Sclaro. I should actually go and do some research about what what is here. I think it could be it's a Dalek place. Current face is safe, good. Oops. I think this might be where the Daleks are, aren't they? 
Because if it is, we've been here before. Indeed it is. Yes, darling, Nick and Moore. Okay. Well, we've been here once. I'm not going to do that again. We'll just go back inside. If I can get in, that is. Mm hmm. Oh, I am. It's just, it's just a bit slow. Right. I do apologise about that. I don't want to go to the same place twice. Let's go over here. And things are a bit laggy at the moment, I guess. Yes, just took a long time to do that one. So what else have we got here? Right, click that. I will empty my hand up before I do that, just to be absolutely sure I've done it. It's this one. Dimension 71, that's actually... I think that's the nether. And the nether doesn't exist either. Where was that last? Glaro or Trenzalor? We haven't been to Trenzalor, have we? So let's try this place. So, the usual starting procedure is yes, I did press it. Yes. External scanner is not working. Is it not working? Let's come back again. Oh my goodness, that was a long time. So that's right. So everything's safe. Great. Oops. I, I seem to have a lot of lag today. Maybe it's going through all these different dimensions very quickly. It's causing slight problems. I clicked that about five seconds ago. Oh. What is that? Lava. Okay, what we'll do is remove the TARDIS first of all, I think. So somewhere a bit nicer than where we are at the moment. This is an interesting planet. I'm not sure if this is the one with the Cybermen on it. I'll have to do some quick research here. So let's just take a little hole here. And I've got here a landing pad. So prepared. Uh, let's get this into recall mode. I think it's in... Which mode is it at the moment? Inbound, yes, it is in, already in recall mode. So there's plenty of Daleks around. Let's have a quick... See if we can shoot some of these guys. That fell... That fell short. That didn't. So it's the weapons one they've got to watch out for. They're, they're pretty nasty. And we've got water here as well. Come out. And we've definitely got a huddle of Daleks over there. I reckon the TARDIS is going to pull me back any second. A lot of Daleks. Let's go and just hit this guy here. Yep, that was the super weapons one. Pulls me back straight away. Right. It's quite actually a little bit scary that was. <laughs> But we should be okay. Let's go out again and have another look and see what we can find. If there's anything else here other than Daleks. But there are certainly a lot of Daleks. And lava and water. But normally on these planets here we don't actually have a anything useful I mean let's have a look here what we actually got if I, can, I want to land on this pillar here all right got it so this is granite okay well granite's granite and from here we can shoot a few Daleks 
I wonder how many shots it takes to kill one of these guys. That's one for that one, and two for that. That's okay, too. So, not that tough. A little bit higher, I think. But I think that one here is a special a special forces one. Try again a bit higher up this time. It's not moving now. Right, I'm not going to bore you with doing that. Let's go and let's go and have a quick flight and attack these guys. Well, I'm not picking anything up interesting, except for XP. Granite. What's underneath this granite? A trestle or rock? I don't think this has got any uses. Let's have a quick look. So this one here, uses and no uses on that, and there's no uses on granite either for that matter. Picked up a disc, very useful. I'll have a quick look around, see if there's anything else of interest around here. And then we'll go back and call this probably a day. I thought there was a another planet for, or another dimension with the Cybermen in, but I've not found that one yet. Just lots of Daleks. And it's very jerky too. I probably what I'm gonna do is I'll trundle back to the TARDIS, which I didn't mark, of course, that was smart of me. Let's have a look on the map here. Oh, it must be up here, look. So we'll just follow back. I could recall the TARDIS, of course, that's the other way of doing this. But I'm just curious to see if there's anything here that's rendered in now that wasn't there before. But there are a lot of Daleks, aren't there? Let's have another look at the map, because the TARDIS should be around here somewhere, so we can find it. Well, I don't see it. These interesting granite spikes, they're quite interesting. Tell you what I'll do, I shall go and have a quick look for the Dalek and come back in a few seconds. See you shortly. Right, I'm back again. I actually found the TARDIS fairly easily. So what I did is I right click this, and when I right click it, it shows me the coordinates. So all I've then did is put those coordinates in, into the uh, journey map, so it tells me where it are and where it is. Now there should be other things in here as well, but I don't see any way. Any of them. It's supposed to spawn silence. It's also supposed to saw spawn whispermen. Oh, I don't know if there's anything else. If that's the right place for the TARDIS, it's very strange because it doesn't look like it's going to be there, does it? Have I got those coordinates wrong? Let me just have double check that again. So, minus 28, 72, 167. Let's have a, oh, it's 74 meters, but that's edit. Minus 28, that's correct, 72. Y is what, Y should be 72, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I think it describes this in a different direction. So it should be 167 and 72. And save that. So it's 99 meters away. 
right behind me. Where I should put it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Let's have a look. So loads of Daleks, but I don't see any other mods. Mobs, I mean. Yes, look at that. Someone over it is. Let's go open. Let's go in there. Can I not get in it? Oh, I'm not. Well, oh, yes. Well, it would help if I actually went to the door, wouldn't it? Right. Okay. I think that's possibly about it for this episode. Next time, I'll just see if there's anything else we can find to see, and that probably will be about the last episode of this series. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've had playing it because it's great fun even though it's a slightly older mod for 1710 Minecraft the mechanics are very similar except for you don't get things like spice of life and hard as tough as nails in it which would make it even harder uh, so surviving with limited food supply is not the easiest of things to do and there's no pams in here okay until then bye for now